Hey guys, hey, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, what's up? My name is Nassine. And this is Valentine's Day. And you know what that means. We have to go, huh? It's time to go. Time to go. Oh, puppies. Oh, puppies. All right, I'll talk to you when I get in the car. I would record in the car, but it is uh, seven degrees outside, and it's so cold that everything in my car, like the doors were barely <laughs> open, so I have the heat blasting, and uh, we gotta get going. I am being so ridiculous right now crying because he was so sad when I left him, and he was so scared, and I hate that. I hate that I didn't do this when he was younger, and that... <laughs> He's so worried why I'm leaving him in a cage with a bunch of people that he doesn't know. It just breaks my heart. And I know it's like, it's a good thing and I'm just being stupid, but my poor puppy. All right, I just dropped Link off and I cried like a baby. Now uh, I'm home. I'm going to actually get ready, probably have a cup of coffee, eat breakfast, and then I gotta get ready to go drop my car off. Um, for an oil change and uh, I have a recall on it. I think it was for the control arm. So I will be doing that today. And I weighed in this morning at 226 point something. I don't remember what it was. I've had a lot on my mind today. So the weight is coming back off after the birthday cake. <laughs> so uh, yeah, I'm just gonna grab a couple of things that I have in here and bring them inside. And then uh, I'll show you if I end up eating anything. All right guys, I just got back from uh, dropping off my car. I recorded this big thing and I decided to re-record it because I got extremely emotional. So this morning I dropped Link off at the vet and I told him that he didn't really like people. They said, okay, bring him in on a muzzle. So we were bringing him in on a muzzle. Got him in there, weighed him. He was growling at them and um, the lady said, oh, can you put him in the kennel? Um, I'm gonna give him a shot. Well, he still has a muzzle on, it's gonna relax him. And then when he gets in the kennel, take his muzzle off. I don't want it to constrict his breathing. So I'm like, okay, we do that. He gets his shot, he, we go in the kennel, he gets the muzzle off, I leave, I cry my eyes out, cause I'm so upset <laughs> and I'm a baby. I go home, I finally stop crying. I start putting on my foundation, I get a phone call. I'm freaking out because I was told I would not get a phone call unless it was an emergency. So it's them. They say they're trying to get him out of the kennel to bring him into the procedure room and he's lunging at them and he will not let them put the muzzle back on and that they can't do the surgery. So I asked, can I come back and put the muzzle on him? I can be there in five minutes. And they said yes. So I came back and he was all drugged up. His eyes were barely open. It was so sad. He was could barely sit up and I got in the cage with him. I'm petting him, telling him I love him. And I put his muzzle back on, he was very calm. And they said, can you walk him to the room? So I walk him to the room and then the lady gets on top of him and holds him down. So he's growling again and they are trying to give him his shot. They give him his shot, but they're like telling me to be in, be in front of him and talk to him, but they covered his eyes and, um, and then they're they're like don't touch him though because he can still bite you through the muzzle even though he knows you and like whatever i'm petting my dog so i'm petting him on the nose and i'm like i love you buddy it's okay you know just trying to talk to him tell him everything is okay and then they give him that shot and he immediately just like is limp which was so hard for me i stood up and they just like picked him up and flopped him down on the table and he just looked like he was dead and i was so upset i said I mean, they, they didn't even say anything to me. They just started like, get the gas mask because he's not gonna wake up on me. I'm not having him wake up. And and, and I get it because he's, he's being bad, but like, I'm still here <laughs> and I'm clearly upset. And I'm like, I just kept apologizing. I'm like, I'm so, so sorry. I'm so sorry. I don't, I don't know why he doesn't like people. He just doesn't like other people. And uh, the f one lady finally, she was like, it's okay. You did fine, you know. I said, do I leave now? And she's like, yep, just out that door. I mean, they were about ready to start the surgery. So then I left. 
came home. Then I came home, finished getting ready, brought my car to the dealership. It needs an oil change, tire rotation, inspection, and then there's a recall on it for the lower control arm. So they need to look at that and see if it even needs changed. So it's going to be about an hour, they said. So I got a rental car and the rental car is the exact same car that I already drive, just a different color. So that was really weird. Anyways, I have not drank or eaten anything at all since I woke up and it is now 10.30. Chris should be here probably in half hour maybe. I'm gonna make myself a cup of coffee and maybe think about eating. I don't know, I've been too emotional this morning. I don't know if I'm hungry at all yet. So I will keep you guys updated and I will catch up with you soon. Uh, hey guys, we are gonna go to Meyer and get some food and get that stuff out of the way before we go pick up Link. That's where we're going. Home. <laughs> Link is home. Are you home, puppy? Hi, buddy. You're not very happy, but you're happy to be home and you were happy to see mommy, huh? Yeah. It's okay, sweet boy. It's okay, sweet boy. Hey, guys. So, for dinner tonight, uh, Chris expressed some interest in the keto chili. He said if he didn't like it, he'd just go get some pizza, but he's kind of interested in keto a little bit. So um, I'm trying to make it my best pot of chili yet. So I'm just cooking it right now. You know, this is keto ginger's recipe. The only thing that I do differently is there's no onion in this and I'm just doing green peppers. And uh, I finally bought the tomato paste in a squeezy. So much easier. Somebody had mentioned that to me before. And I'm living for this mascara. It is like beautiful. Anyways, Link is following me everywhere. He is at my feet right now. It's so sad, he's so tired. But Tiffany made Chris a cake for his birthday. I'm going to try my hardest to avoid it. And uh, I'd rather go over on keto sweets. So I'll probably have like some enlightened ice cream or even maybe a quest bar or something like that while they have that just to keep me my sweet tooth at bay i'll probably add some of those jalapeno parm crisps into mine because they're delicious and uh i'll see you guys soon the next day hey guys i'm trying to remember to record it's hard to remember to record when you have when you have your boyfriend over and you just want to spend time with them but I used that zero net carb bread from Aldi and I just toasted it straight from the freezer in a frying pan in some um, butter. And then I made one egg fried in butter with some garlic, salt, and pepper. And this is my breakfast. Had one cup of the Bones Coffee Salty Siren with the Keto um, Collagen Creamer. Creamer, Keto, I can't even speak. With the Keto, ugh, with the Preferred Element Chocolate Key to creamer. No, the scene. One scoop of this. <laughs> hey guys, I wanted to show you something that I received in the mail today. Um, this is from one of my subscribers. She actually does this, sells this really cool makeup. So she sent me a stick foundation, a liquid lip, an eyeshadow palette, a mascara, and a cool kabuki brush. I'm going to open them up and look at them, and I'll show you when I get them opened. So I opened everything up, and I love the packaging. Look at this. This is so sick. I love that. That's... I'm trying to show you a swatch, but Link won't stop smelling my hand. That's a really pretty color. And then also, I did put the stick foundation on my hand, and I blended it. And that is, a, like, a really good color match for somebody who just watches me for my videos. Good job on that. So, um, I'm going to actually go do my makeup and let you know how it all works out. But I like, I really like this packaging. I love packaging. Oh, look at the, um, eyeshadow colors. They're so beautiful. Mmm. That's really pretty. This one calls my name. Yes. Alright guys, it's a little white in here or not white it's like yellow let me try to find better lighting i just didn't want you guys to have to hear the tv and the dishwasher and everything but this is the makeup this eyeshadow is so creamy so buttery look at it's so pretty and it blended so well the foundation matches really well and 
I used on half of my face I used the brush and on the other half a beauty blender and to me they look very much the same I really like this mascara as well and the lipstick is beautiful it's kind of bright and dark for me bright and dark you know what I mean it's kind of dark for me and it's not like a matte so I have a feeling I will get this lipstick everywhere but I think it's still really pretty probably gonna take it off and just use like a like um, Urban Decay like um, a much lighter color just because I really like wearing colors like this but I get very self-conscious <laughs> that I have makeup all over my face especially if it's not a matte but it's beautiful and it went on so smooth and I only had one application I didn't have to keep dipping it back into the bottle that is very very pigmented and a ton of coverage I like it and I have my boyfriend sneaking up I don't know what he that's babe the camera is facing me <laughs> unless you want it to be facing you 